Today we're going to talk about a topic that many of you are very interested in. Money. A lot of people out there think that software engineers are like modern day gold miners, earning at least 200k a year. But how true is that really? Do we all make this kind of money and live in penthouses and drive around in the most expensive supercars? Unfortunately not. Software engineering salaries vary significantly, ranging from very low to absolutely insane numbers. At the end of this video I will also cover the best paying technologies for this year, so make sure you stay until the end. So let's talk about how much software engineers make around the world. But before we do that, we need to understand the key factors that really determine a software engineer's salary. The most significant factor is obviously your location. When you look at the global salaries, that really seems to be the most influencing factor. The second one is the level of working experience you have. A senior developer with 10 years of working experience usually makes a lot more than a junior dev in an entry-level position. But that's the case in almost any job. If you work in a larger company, you usually make a lot more than someone that's working in a very small company. Your salary can also depend heavily on the profitability of the company. The last two factors are a combination of each other, which have a huge influence on your salary. The programming language and the industry you're in. But how do they affect it so much? It's pretty simple. Just look at industries like banking, for example. They often use old technologies and even older programming languages which nobody learns anymore. And that means that there won't be so many developers to choose from. And if you're one of those poor shiny COBOL Pokemons, you'll find yourself in a really beneficial negotiating position and can basically ask for any money you want. Because if they need a guy that can maintain their systems, and you might be the only choice at this moment, they're gonna have to offer you whatever you want. Of course, that really depends on the situation. However, if you join the mainstream of all the JavaScript and Python bros, and only know some very cool and fancy framework, which definitely does something that no other framework can do, you might find yourself in a harder negotiating position because there are literally so many people out there that have the same or similar skill that would do it for a lot less than you would. Employers often check your YouTube subscription list to check if you're subscribed to my channel, so make sure you don't fail a simple test. But let's jump back to the countries. Which country pays their software engineers the most? So while researching the most paying countries, I got a little confused because a lot of statistics out there have very different data so I just calculated an average from all of my sources. Also keep in mind that I'm talking about the mid-level or median salary, so not the juniors or seniors. I'm also going to tell you about the average cost of living in these countries, just for you to have a realistic relation to the numbers. Number one country, according to many statistics, is of course the United States, with an average software engineering salary of 110,000 US dollars a year, which is $9,100 a month. The extremely high salaries, especially in the Bay Area where all the fan companies are, bring up the national average significantly. The average living expenses in the US are about $2,500 which seems to allow the software engineers in the US to live a very comfortable lifestyle. Go appears to be the best paid programming language with an average of 120k, while PHP and SQL are at the lower end with an average between 85 and 92k a year. If you're from the US, please let us know your experiences down in the comments. The second best country for software engineers seems to be the country I'm living in, Switzerland. Software engineers in Switzerland make about 100,000 US dollars a year, but I think the statistics here might be a little outdated because according to my personal experience here in Switzerland, the average is about 98,000 Swiss francs, which is equal to 111,000 US dollars at the moment. But let's just say we make roughly 100 Gs a year, which is about $8,300 a month. The cost of living for a single person here in Switzerland is pretty high with an average of 3 to 4,000 Swiss francs a month. That really depends on where exactly you live here in Switzerland, because some cities like Zurich or Basel are significantly more expensive than others. If you want to know more about the expenses we have here, check out my video about my cost of living situation here in Switzerland. It's definitely enough to live a comfortable lifestyle and have some money left at the end of the month. Java, C Sharp and Python seem to be the best paid programming languages in Switzerland and also have the highest demand with almost 80% of open positions targeting them. Okay, so Switzerland pays their software engineers the best in Europe. But what's with the rest? So the overall European countries differ a lot between East and West. While Western European countries like Germany, the UK or Austria make at least 50k a year or more, the Southern and more Eastern European countries are paid a lot less, ranging from 20 to 25k in countries like Greece, Poland or Portugal, or even below 20k in Bulgaria or Romania. But of course we have to keep in mind that their monthly living expenses are a lot lower than Switzerland's for example. The average living expenses for a single person in Germany are 14 to 1900 dollars a month. And the average in Greece is even lower with about 800 dollars a month. JavaScript, Python, and SQL seem to be the most popular programming languages in this area. So now we just covered the best paid devs around the world. But where do software engineers get paid the worst? And why is that? 
Developing countries like Nigeria have the lowest pay with about $7,000 a year. But South Asian countries like India, Pakistan or Bangladesh are also one of the worst paid software engineers around the world, averaging about seven to ten thousand US dollars per year. But the average cost of living in those countries is also very low, with an average of 280 to 400 US dollars per month. The highest paying programming languages in South Asian countries are Java, C Sharp, and JavaScript, but languages like Python, C and SQL are also a highly sought after skill over there. But why do these developers get paid so badly in comparison to Western countries? Is it because of their skill? No. Of course not. The wage disparity comes from several different factors like the economic development, market demand and currency exchange rates. Western countries generally have higher income levels and stronger economies, which allows them to pay more competitive salaries. Additionally, companies from all over the world often outsource their software projects to South Asian countries to take advantage of the very low cost, which can also affect the local compensation rates due to the need to maintain competitive pricing. But there also is one other thing to keep in mind. Almost 20% of all software engineers worldwide are based in India. With almost 5 million engineers, they rank second after China with almost 7 million. India has so many software engineers that they could replace more than half of the Swiss population. And with that level of competition, it's really hard to find a job that pays you a lot because there are 5 million other people who could possibly lowball your salary expectations. Now that we've covered the median salaries, let's explore one other question. Why is there such a significant salary gap between junior and senior developers? How can it be that seniors get almost paid double of what a junior makes? It's pretty simple, because the skill range in software engineering is so large. A junior dev in an entry-level position will rarely be able to complete a task from start to finish without anybody holding his hand at least for a little bit. And that's fine, don't get me wrong. They usually make a lot more mistakes because they don't have so much experience yet and therefore require a senior dev which can review the code and ensure the quality of it. In contrast, a senior developer is a person that has a lot of working experience and usually knows exactly what he's doing. He can complete tasks from start to finish and delegate work to other team members and maintain an overreaching perspective of the entire project. He usually reviews code from less experienced devs and ensures that the code works flawlessly. And this level of experience is the reason why they're getting paid so much more. A question I've seen a bunch of times in the comments is which programming language pays the best? And in order to answer that, let's look at this year's developer survey from Stack Overflow. Over 90,000 developers from around the world have filled out the survey and kind of flexed on me and called me poor, because according to the best paying technologies, PHP really isn't one of them. You'll make a significantly better living by being a highly skilled HTML programmer, which obviously is the superior programming language. JavaScript also seems to be at the lower end, making only a little bit more than the HTML chats. Apparently programming languages like Zig, Erlang and F Sharp are the best paid ones, but I don't think that this is really accurate because I can't imagine there are more than 10 devs in the world right now that know these languages. The highest paying language that some people actually know appears to be Ruby at almost 100k. And almost every language on the chart had a 10% salary increase from last year, which is almost enough to afford your favorite dino nuggies again after the raging inflation made us all poor over the last years. But some other languages like Julia or Crystal are down bad since last year, so I guess now would be a perfect moment to panic sell your crystal and jump onto F sharp or something. And even the popular language Rust is down a significant amount of $35. I left all the links to my sources down in the video description for you to check out. Now you guys know how to make the big bucks while coding, so go and learn Zig or Erlang I guess. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.